Hi, everybody, and welcome to Cup of Kibble. Miss Bella is asleep on the floor. Maybe she'll join us in a little bit. So today I'm going to do a, a video, a, a controversial video. Hey, I like controversy. No, in all seriousness, um, I'm here to educate you, and I always have comments um, that I welcome in my YouTube video and in my newsletter. So let's talk about it. Today I wanna to talk about why I will never, ever feed any of my dogs a raw food diet. If you're on the fence to get off kibble and you're so confused about if you should home cook or if you should do raw feeding, I encourage you to listen to this video and I also encourage you to go to my newsletter, it's free, because in my newsletter I go into great detail and I have seven links backed by science that you could read yourself to do your own research because I'm here to educate and spread information, but I want you to, to do your own research also. This way, we all become smarter. So let's first talk about, there are several different ways that you could feed your dog. There's kibble. We all know that we don't want to feed kibble. It's just dry and it's there's no nutrients in it. There's wet canned food, which is mm, one step up from kibble. It does have moisture but you don't want to feed that too. Then there's dehydrated food, and there is uh, freeze-dried food, and there is home cooking, which Cut the Kibble supports that 100%, and there <clears throat> is raw food. And today, oh, and I want to say, by the time I finish this video, there may be another way that somebody has invented to feed your dog because dog nutrition is really evolving. But today I want to talk about um, raw dog food and why I would never feed it to my dog. Now, you really got to be careful what you listen to on YouTube. I remember when I first got into uh, home cooking for my dog, I went on YouTube back 14 years ago and I, I remember seeing this one woman I, I really wish I could find these videos now where she went to the supermarket and bought all this chicken raw chicken brought it home opened it up and showed on the video how to feed that raw chicken to her dog and I thought it was odd then and I didn't know anything about cooking for a dog back then especially raw feeding but I thought it was odd with all that bacteria that you would want to give that food directly to your dog. So what I cringe about is that there are people out there that are doing more harm sharing their videos because if you're gonna raw home raw feed for your dog, you have to bring that food home, stick it in the freezer for a few days weeks to kill the bacteria because yes there's going to be bacteria on the food that you feed you get for your own family but you're cooking that food and cooking that food will be killing the bacteria okay so i'm gonna um look at my laptop quite a bit because i've done a lot of research and i want to share this information with you so um the Center of Veterinary Medicine um, identifies a potential health risk for the pets eating the raw food and for the owners handling the raw food. So our dogs can probably handle the bacteria, but the problem that I have is that us humans cannot handle the bacteria. So when the dog eats the food, there's several ways that it could pass on the germs to you. They could shed, it's called shedding the bacteria. 
um, into their poop, when they, they could shed the bacteria, when they rub their butt on the couch or on the bed that you share with your dog, they can shed that bacteria when they kiss you with their, their tongue that has these germs. So for that reason alone, I am not in favor of raw feeding because I'm looking out for me, I'm looking out for my family, and especially, especially if I have young children in my household or immune compromised loved ones in my household, which I will talk about in a little I'm just bit. Just perplexed why there's all this rage that home, excuse me, raw feeding is so good for your dogs. I'm in so many dog food groups on Facebook and my goodness, these raw feeders, they bash not only kibble, which hey, I bash kibble too, but they, they bash people that home cook. I don't get it. I think what they think is that they're going back 10,000 years when the, the wolf used to go out and get a fresh kill and would eat not only the, the, the fresh meat, but it would eat the, the organs, the spleen, the liver, the trachea. It would eat the bones and it would eat the fur. So they're going back 10,000 years. But you know, we have learned a lot in the last 10 years, forget 10,000 years, about not only human nutrition, but canine nutrition. We need to move forward from the science that we are learning. These raw feeders are also saying that dogs evolved from the wolf. And there's science now that goes against that. There's genetic research has overturned the long held notion that dogs evolved from the gray wolf. Again, go in my newsletter and you could read the article. Regardless of these articles, that dogs did evolve from the wolf or dogs did not evolve from the wolf. We have a domesticated animal living in our home that sleeps in our bed. We have pictures all over our phone, taken up our, our memory on our phone. We're dressing up these dogs in Halloween costumes and they're part of our family. Based on the studies that I have read, I am not a proponent of raw like feeding. Like I said, we are constantly learning about our own health and canine health, and we cannot be basing our opinions from things from 10,000 years ago. We need to move forward. I'm now gonna share my 10 reasons why I would never feed my dogs raw food. And I know this is going to cause a lot of drama and comments. And I welcome those comments, but please keep them civil. Number one, your dog can shed the bacteria to you and your family. And we just briefly talked about you that. Know, I've seen videos of, of even vets that I hold high on a pedestal and they're getting the raw meat and they're putting it through the food grinder. And I cringe. First of all, they're not wearing gloves to protect themselves. And the grinder is spitting out juices and meat on their kitchen cabinets and all over the place. I mean, you when you raw cook, you really need to disinfect the meat grinder. You need to change your clothes. You need to wipe down the cabinets. You really got to be careful. And then if you have young children in the house and they're crawling around, I've seen videos where the, the, the kids are, are getting the raw meat and they're feeding it to the dog. I mean, how gross is that? The kids that are raw, I'm sorry, the parents that are raw feeders, their kids get sick and they, they're blaming it on iceberg lettuce. Number two, I am getting comments and I'm reading it online of more and more pet owners that have been feeding their dog raw are getting sick. Why is this? Well, first of all, 
you know, you could feed your dog raw and I'm going to get comments. I've been feeding my dog raw for 20 years. That's fantastic. You know, it doesn't work for everybody, but especially when the dog gets older, they lose the enzymes to help break down the food and they just cannot digest the raw food. And with raw food, you have to serve that meat cold. You can't let it sit out on the counter and serve it warm because then it will definitely uh, grow bacteria on it. And according to the Chinese herbal medicine, cold food is seen as one of the six pathogenic evils of Chinese medicine, which can lead to digestive issues. Number three, why I would not feed my dog raw food? So you need to keep that food in your refrigerator. It's raw. Now, raw food sitting in the refrigerator or sitting out on your counter builds, grows histamines. Some dogs are fine with it. Some humans are fine with it. But if your dog eats raw food and then gets itchy, is very tired and has stomach issues, you need to consider that your dog has a histamine intolerance from the raw food that is sitting in your refrigerator growing histamine. Number four, raw meats contain fat and people give the dog the whole meat. Now the problem is fat in meats contains a lot of omega-6s, especially chicken has the highest amount of omega-6s. So you give your dog uh, the chicken leg or, or, the, or the thigh and it has a skin on it, that's a lot of fat. You don't trim the fat off the thigh, that's a lot of fat and it has omega-6s. What's wrong with omega-6s? Well, in a dog's diet, the ratio should be four to one, four omega-6s to one omega-3. And we know that in kibble, the ratio can be 50 to one. But if you're giving your dog overall too many omega-6s, it's gonna cause inflammation. Inflammation causes itchiness. Inflammation is a precursor to autoimmune immune diseases. I would never feed my dog raw food. Number five. The American Veterinary Medical Association discourages giving dogs raw animal products. They say it can be contaminated with a variety of pathogenic organisms, including salmonella, and I won't go on to the rest of it. Number six, that same organization supports and encourages cooked feeding. Here we go, cut the kibble, right? I'm proud of that. Number seven, this is something that I just recently um, learned about, that there can be um, salmon poison in dogs. Salmon poisoning is a, a potential fatal condition seen in dogs after they eat certain types of raw or cold smoked fish like trout and salmon that has been infected with a bacterial-like organism which I can't pronounce what it is, um, transmitted by the parasitic flatworm. So you have to be very, very careful. We all feed our dogs salmon. Salmon is so good, it's high in omega-3s. It's from the salmon in Northern California that you need to be careful about. And if you cook the salmon, it kills all the parasites. But you need, if you're gonna raw feed, you need to make sure you know where that salmon is coming from because if you feed your dog raw salmon from Northern California, there's a high risk your dog will die. Again, I have the link in my newsletter. Don't believe me, read the science. Number eight, the Center of Disease Control does not recommend feeding service animals raw food because of the shedding that it could 
Again, the dog won't have the bacteria, but it's gonna shed it through the saliva when they, they just lick the person's hand, maybe in a nursing home. This also goes if you raw feed at home and you have a loved one going through chemotherapy for cancer, you know, chemotherapy just wipes out your immune system. You should not be feeding raw food while someone in your home has a weakened immune system. And lastly, and I talked about it earlier, um, dogs that are older, I'm hearing a lot of it, that, that I fed my dog raw all its life and now it's eight years old, 10 years old, and it can't eat raw. Yeah, that's because they lose the ability to break down the food and it just sits in their stomach and it and it ferments and they get acid reflux. That's why not only do I home cook for my dog, but I put all the food through the food processor. So I am pre-digesting the food for my dog. Look, we all want the best for our dogs and we all do what we can to afford for our dogs. But the, the raw community believes that um, it, Feeding raw reduces the risk of cancer, dental disease, and allergies. But there's no absolute scientific data out there that claims this. And again, go to my newsletter to read now, it. I'll admit, I claim at times that feeding a species-appropriate, lightly home-cooked food will help your dog's immune system. And I talk about you know the antioxidants from the blueberries and the omega-3s from the salmon and the salmon oil and all that stuff. But you know, we do the best we can. Dogs are dying at a horrible rate of cancer. Um, I personally feel that yes, if we feed our dog real human grade, species appropriate food, not raw, we can help our dogs build a strong immune system to fight off diseases such as cancer. But there are other things involved. We have, there's the environment, you know, your dog walks on grass that's been sprayed with glyphosate and then comes back and, and licks their paws. We could only do so much, but the bottom line is we need to research and we need to do what's best, not only for our dog, but for ourselves and the people who live in our homes. And if I had young children, God, I would never, ever feed a raw diet. And I don't wanna get sick either. So that's why I do home cooking. I've been home cooking for 13 years for this little girl. I've never gotten sick. My dog only goes to the vet for dentals and for well visits. And I cannot believe that Bella slept through this entire video. All right, I wanna hear your comments, I really do, but please keep it civil. All right, take care.